Hello everyone and welcome to the guinea pig cafe. In today's video I'll be going over a basic cage setup. These items are 100% necessary in providing your guinea pig not only a happy but a safe home. There are five items in particular you must have when setting up your guinea pig's cage. Stay tuned! <laughs> setting up a space for your guinea pig, the number one thing you're going to make sure you have is, well, a cage. You're going to need a safe place for your guinea pig to live, and you want to make sure that it's large enough. Think about it this way. You're probably stuck at home just like me right now. Would you want to spend all of that time stuck in your closet, or would you want to be able to free roam your entire house? No, I'm not saying to give your guinea pig free reign of the home, even though I'm sure they wouldn't mind. But what I'm saying is you want to make sure that the cage they have is large enough for them. Typically speaking, a cage you would get from any old pet store is not going to be large enough. For two guinea pigs, the minimum required cage space is going to be seven and a half square feet, and if you want three piggies, about ten and a half square feet. The first cage that I got my girls was a little over 7.8 square feet, and if you would like to see the review about that, it's going to be posted right here for you. Good starter cage that you could get would be something similar to the one I got. The better option would be the Midwest. It's the same size and it looks like it's built much better than mine was. Or you can go an even cheaper route and build your own, a CNC cage, which is what I'm using right now. The cage that I have right now for the three of them is about 15 square feet, not including the upstairs portion for them. So the second thing that you have to have in your guinea pig's cage is another guinea pig. Guinea pigs are herd animals and they cannot live alone. Even though you're home right now, you won't always be, but even being home, you can't provide them the companionship that they need. Guinea pigs must have a friend in the cage that is the same species as them. They talk to each other. Sometimes they cuddle up to each other once they get scared. But you have to have them in at least two, if not more. And just make sure to take gender into consideration when you are finding a friend for your guinea pig. So ideally you want males with males or females with females unless they are altered. So unless you spay either all of the females or neuter all of the males, they should not be together to prevent you from having many, many guinea pigs. The third thing that you're going to have to have in your guinea pig's cage it's going to be kind of lumped a little bit together. It's going to be food and water. I'm not going to go in too much detail of the specifics of exactly what kind of food and everything they need. I'm actually going to have the video posted here which goes into complete detail of everything that your guinea pigs must have. But generally you're going to need hay, lots of it. You're going to need pellets, you're going to need water, and also make sure to provide them with plenty of vegetables with the occasional fruit. The fourth thing you should make sure you have in your guinea pig's cage is a hidey. What I mean by a hidey is something that they can hide in. So this can be some type of a tunnel, it can be some type of a cave. For my piggies, they do have those, but they also have ramps that they like to hide beneath as well. As I've mentioned before, guinea pigs are prey animals. In the wild, they're used to things coming from above and snatching them up, or maybe just a predator chasing them down. You want to make sure if they do feel frightened, they have a place where they can hide. And sometimes that might be from you. I'm sure you've seen it before when you go to pick up your guinea pig and they try to run from you. It's just their natural instinct. They don't mean anything by it.
so they not only need a hidey for when they feel scared, but also if they get cold, or maybe they just want a comfortable place to sleep. Either way, make sure that you have enough hideys for each guinea pig that you have in your cage. If you have two guinea pigs, have two or more hideys, that way they're not fighting over it as well. In my particular cage, I have four hideys automatically. This is including the front porch and the three ramps they can hide beneath. On top of that, I also provide them with either a tunnel or a pouch or beds with a lid on them. And I do have a couple of those as well. The last thing that you're gonna wanna have in your guinea pig's cage is bedding of some sort. Personally, I use fleece. Fleece is good because it's reusable, but it does require a bit more maintenance. You do have to spot clean it at least once, if not twice a day. Other options that you can use would be wood shaving beddings, but be very careful about that. Pine and cedar are not ideal due to their strong smell. It can upset your guinea pig's very sensitive sense of smelling. It can also cause allergic reactions, and sometimes it can cause liver damage because of the pesticides they use to kill insects within the wood. If you're going to use wood shaving beddings, aspen is the best. I used aspen shavings for a brief period in time while I was waiting for my fleece to ship after I got the piggies. Another option is paper bedding. Some complaints for this can be that it's too dusty. It doesn't have the smell and it doesn't have the pesticides, but it can get dusty. I use paper bedding in their litter box at the moment, but I am going to be looking into getting fleece for that area just so I don't have as much waste when I'm cleaning out their cage all the time. One thing to make sure for bedding, do not use newspaper. It's not good for them, it's not going to absorb anything, and the ink can be really, really bad for them. So to give you guys an idea of a tour in action, we've got their upstairs area with hay. Coming downstairs, got their ramp, litter box area. We've got Heidi number one. Water. Pellets. Heidi number two. Heidi's number three four, and five, with front porch being Heidi number six. And as you can see, fleece everywhere. And if you didn't see already, I've got one, I've got two, and I've got three piggies. Those are the five basic things you're going to need when setting up your guinea pig's cage. I hope that you found this helpful. If there's anything I might have missed, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. I make sure to post videos every Monday, including educational, how-tos, and updates on my piggies' lives. If you have any questions or future video suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much, and I hope you all have a lovely day.